And uh, obviously, if we are able to no issue, generate these cells from our own body or the patient body so that there's no issue of immune rejection. So this is really a way of generating uh, uh, stem cells and from stem cells, therapeutically useful cell types, which allows uh, repair uh, degenerative diseases where some you know, cell deaths involved. Uh, and there are many of them, like diabetes, mm -hmm. Alzheimer, uh, Parkinson, multiple sclerosis, uh, spinal cord injuries. Mm -hmm. So that it's a huge list where uh, cell-based therapies could help to treat the disease. So I see the possibility in the future that now we might be able to create uh, diabetes, in, uh, not by creating a pancreas, but a piece of uh, skin as a patch that we can put on our arm, which. Uh, works as a pancreas and then provide insulin to the body so that this is this kind of things that i i envision that there's a lot of potential in stem cell research which uh, when we can modify ourselves uh, to uh, our needs to treat, treat certain diseases in a different way how actually the nature provided us the biggest challenge is really to understand the cells so uh, how the cells decide to be uh, insulin producer cell or a muscle cell which moves us around and uh, how uh, we can change this property uh, what we have in these cells to either to repair uh, and help disease or, di or cure disease or even create cells generate cells with new functions who never been existed before uh -huh. 20 years, 20 years from, from now. now after 20 years yes. right how do you see us well we see us more happy and healthier and uh, uh, um, running around and jogging uh, at our age 80 or 85 so that's where uh, i see the whole uh, our field is probably moving to humanity yeah, I, 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 just, I expect that uh, it should be in our lifetime, yeah. <laughs>